Yo, 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 what is good? My name is Oki Fish, and in this video, I'll be educating y'all about GHB. I'll be talking about what GHB is, what the effects are, go over harm reduction practices, debunk a lot of corporate misinformation out there, I'll explain my own personal experiences throughout the years, and a lot more. What is GHB? Scientifically known as gamma hydroxybutyric acid, GHB is everything alcohol wishes it was. GHB is found naturally as a neurotransmitter and is a precursor to GABA. This receptor plays an important role in behavior, cognition, and the body's stress response. GABA is heavily involved in controlling dopamine levels, which is the reward system in the brain and known as the feel-good hormone. Say, for example, you ace an exam after studying for 12 hours. Your brain is going to reward you with dopamine, thus making you feel happy and accomplished. GHB essentially allows you to feel that dopamine without actually having to do anything. So basically, it increases your overall enjoyment in whatever you're doing. Everything just feels more exciting and more fun. Compared to alcohol, both have similarities, but GHB is better in a lot more ways and has less negative side effects. Medically, it's been studied in the past for treatment of depression and anxiety, as well as being used as a sleeping aid. GHB will lower inhibitions, increase sociability, and raise dopamine levels. Plus, it improves sleep efficiency and augments better REM sleep, which is why you feel so refreshed and rejuvenated after a long night of G. Unlike alcohol, where when you wake up the next morning, you feel fatigued and hungover <clears throat> due to the fact that alcohol is a literal poison to your body. Furthermore, GHB increases human growth hormone, which in return helps build muscle faster, heal injuries faster, boost metabolism, and burn fat. It's more common in Europe, particularly in the rave scene, but also found in clubs or parties. When used responsibly in moderation, there are many benefits to be had with GHB, but because it's illegal in so many different countries, it almost encourages people to be reckless with it. Most of the time, it comes in liquid form, and you must know the concentration in order to accurately dose. Additionally, you have to measure the liquid with something like a measuring cup or a syringe. And a lot of people in the street don't got time for that. You know, they just want to pop some pills real quick or whatever. So that facilitates a higher likelihood of someone taking too much and not knowing what the f*** they're doing. Plus, because it's a liquid, a lot of dealers will cut it and mix it with a bunch of random research chemicals that are more cheaper to produce for the dealer and more dangerous to the consumer. That's why I think a lot of horror stories involving people doing weird stuff on GHB is probably more than only GHB. Because it's relatively safe on its own, and if you take too much, you'll probably just fall asleep. It is possible to overdose, but you have to be really irresponsible and take an absurd amount in a really short period of time. People also tend to combine GHB with a bunch of other drugs at the same time time. This obviously can be pretty dangerous, especially when they're not measuring out their doses or keeping track of all the crap they're mindlessly throwing in their body. So if someone is going off the wall crazy, assume there's more to that mixture than only GHB. Possibly some alcohol or benzos or some other downer of some sort. Personally, I think GHB is a wonderful substance if used responsibly. I actually prefer GBL more, which is the precursor to GHB but both essentially accomplish the same effects. GBL is just more potent and has a faster onset than GHB. At some point in the future, I'll give GBL its own video. But anyway, I do find GHB to be a very pleasant overall experience. For starters, music definitely sounds better. It feels like saucier, like it's it's got more sauce to it. Like imagine you got a full meal in front of you, which already tastes good on its own, but then you just drench that bitch in sauce. Now it's gonna taste that much better and that much saucier. Get lost in the sauce, bruh. It makes everything super hype, so it's great for partying or going to sports games. Everything just feels better and the body high feels like you're glowing. It's also great for treating irritability. Say for example, you're crashing off caffeine or Adderall or something. GHB is like the ultimate landing gear. It will soothe your brain with empathy, making you feel a lot more relaxed after being stressed out. And be aware, GHB tastes like sh**. It's really bitter and really salty. If you're able to put the liquid in gel capsules, it's much more easier to consume that way. Overall, GHB is a good amount of benefits if used responsibly. Leave a comment below if any of you guys have tried GHB before, and if this is your first time hearing about it, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button, and if you love the video, subscribe notifications on for more content just like this. And if you need any more good vibes, follow me on Twitter, Insta, at lowkey underscore fish. The YouTube algorithm loves to suppress my type of content, so any positivity is greatly appreciated. That's all for me today. My name is Lowkey Fish. Be love, spread love, and I love you all. Peace out.